Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is Friday, July 30th, and in today's video, we're gonna be finding out how much money you guys can get for an old engine like this at a scrapyard. I've tried selling it, nobody wants to buy it for obvious reasons, so we're gonna see how much money we can get, and I really hope you guys learn from it. Not only, not only do I have the engine, but I also have exhaust manifolds, I got a water pump to take, I got a valve cover, which is kind of light, so probably not much money for that. And I also have a riser from the old engine. And those parts, I can't sell them. They're so rusted and corroded, there's no way I can sell them. I wanted to make this video today to show you guys just how much money you can get for something like this, because that's probably 500, 400 pounds of just iron that you can scrap and get cash money for. And I've never done it before, but I'm really anxious to find out what I get and how I can benefit from it. But I want to thank you guys so much because now we have over 500 subscribers. I never thought I'd make it this far. I really appreciate you guys getting to know you guys. This started out as a hobby for me, and I just have a passion for it now. I love doing YouTube. It's been so much fun. If you guys watched the last video talking about how I'm restarting my life right now, and we're going to do that travel van trip, I'm going to be traveling around the whole country. But let me know in the comments below where you're from, and maybe we can link up on the road trip, and go ahead and hit that like button for me. It helps the video out a lot, so we can get this information out to a lot more people. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and load the engine and the scrap metal up in the truck. From there, we're going to get some gas. We're going to head to the scrap yard and find out how much money they give us. So let's do it. I'm sweating, but that's just the Florida weather for you. You know how it is out of here. Uh, so I got everything loaded up. Uh, I need to go get some diesel for this guy real quick. And we're gonna head down to Fort Walton, down by base, and we're gonna scrap these engine parts. So I'm anxious to see how much I get for it. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm expecting something like 50 bucks. I don't know. Jeez, dude, I don't know how to turn. Like I said, we got the engine, two exhaust manifolds, we got a riser, water pump, and a valve cover. I'm not sure how much I'll get for it, like I said. I'm hoping a decent amount. I'm just trying to get money in the bank. I'm gonna go get some gas real quick, we'll find out. All right, guys, I just showed up. Looks like a scrapyard to me. Let's find out how to get in here. Uh, drives to get in there, but the drive goes in like all the heavy equipment operating right now, so I don't know. I've never done this before, I don't really know. Oh, gosh. I don't know how to get in there. I, don't, I guess I just drive in and ask. Find out. All right, who's this punk kid rolling in here? This is crazy. Look at this. Oh man, this was park and walk in here and find out. I don't know. What's that say? These doors remain closed at all times. Please enter the right side of the building. I don't know. So I just drive back there? There's not even any room for me back there. I don't know, man. Got a engine block and some engine parts. Okay, is it pretty much all steel? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what you'll do, man, is you'll run right across to the other side. Um, okay. We got the truck scale over there. You'll drive right on. Um, up at the corner of the building, there's a green light, which gives that to you. You come right around the back over here, and uh, you can back up right to uh, this pile right here. You'll just push it right off. You'll go back around, get a tear weight, and uh, she'll get you all paid up by the so window right there. Go to the scale, pull around. Yeah, yeah, from the scale, you'll just pull right around the back side over here. You can okay. back right up over here. All right, man, I appreciate no it. No problem. You got any yes, sir. All 
All right, so that was, this is weird, man. So apparently I go around the side of the building, get the tear weight, which is the weight minus the truck. Can I even fit through there? What kind of place is this? All right, I think I see. This must be the scale. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So I see a light over there. So that light should come on or something. I feel like this is why like not a lot of people do this because it's kind of hard to, it's a weird, it's like an easy process, but it's weird. I don't like it. Okay. We got the green light over there. I think I gotta wait on this guy. I don't know if people like, I always see people picking up scrap and stuff, but I don't know if they make full-time livings out of it. They just do it for a side hustle. I don't know. But look at all this. Just, it's all over, man. All right, boys, I'm here. Apparently I gotta, I think you just throw it yourself back there. I'm gonna see what I can do real quick. All right, so what I learned today is you go to drop scrap metal off, you gotta weigh the truck first with all the equipment in it, everything is scrapping. On the scale, you dump it by yourself, and then you drive around again to weigh the truck without the equipment, and that's how you get your tear weight. And that's how they figure out how much scrap you actually dumped in the pile. So we're learning something new today, I like it. green light good to go now I go back inside I get the ticket and that'll be my payout apparently at least that's what I think I might it might be something different how are you I want to get your ID you put me on my toes over here they told me to look for you oh really <laughs> yeah I said to make sure I knew what ticket you had yeah I was I've never done this before so I was kind of like yeah, first first timer. Yeah. As well. Thanks for your help. Well, guys, I don't know if you heard the woman in the window, but uh, I drove like 30 minutes here, put diesel in this thing. It was a whole engine block. She said it was almost 500 pounds. It was like 460, I believe. 460 pounds of steel and you know when I left I was like oh I'll make a YouTube video about this I'll probably get like 80 bucks or something like that you know how much I got for all that $36 so <laughs> what that is that is not a side hustle that is not a side hustle folks that is terrible look so you do all that $36 ticket it's cash money that's good for if you don't want to pay taxes or anything like that. That's cool. But I could make more money off that doing Uber for two hours. Like, I can't believe, I'm mad. <laughs> One experience. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. 36 bucks for all that I just did. I mean, if we outweigh the pros and the cons, it's probably 
it's probably better than just throwing it away. You're still getting paid for it depending on your gas money and the time and effort you put into it. You're still scraping that extra money from your project, but oh my gosh, this is unreal. $36 for all that, all that steel. I can't believe that. Wow. Wow. I, I don't know if you guys are shocked as me, but wow. That is... Shoo! I'm in disbelief right now, man. I can't believe it. Just insane. I hope you guys learned something from today's video. You probably did. Probably like, I'm never scrapping metal. That's a terrible idea. But I had to get rid of the engine for the trip and I didn't have anywhere to put it. So I had to get rid of it. I just wanted to put out a short video and maybe you guys could learn something. If you did learn something, let me know in the comments. You guys can make fun of me in the comments. That was just, what a wild experience. <laughs> Definitely a life lesson learned today. That's all I got, guys. Have a good day. I'm Mac. This is Slick Shifts. Have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.